Good morning. Today we are making focaccia. I think I'm almost pronouncing that right. Um, this is a recipe that does need to rest for 8 to 24 hours before you bake it, so you'll want to plan ahead a little bit. For this recipe, we'll need flour, olive oil, some flaky salt, oregano, basil, yeast, warm water, and regular good old salt. All you'll need to make this is a mixing bowl, some measuring cups, measuring spoons, something to stir with, and it says an 8 inch cake pan. I'm going to use my 8 inch square pan. Okay, to start this recipe, it's a really quick, easy recipe. So all we need is two cups of flour. I already have a cup in the bowl, but I want to show you how I do my flour. Instead of scooping the cup into the flour, if you do that, you're going to get too much flour. I use a spoon and I spoon it into the cup and then I just run my spoon along the top. We also need a teaspoon of salt and one and a quarter teaspoons instant yeast. I believe that's less than a packet, so if you have the little packets, you'll need to measure it out. We stir that together. And then we're gonna add one cup warm water. Stir this until it becomes a sticky dough. That's it for step one. This goes in the fridge now for eight to 24 hours. I'm gonna put it in the fridge while I'm working, so about nine, 10 hours. And then we will turn it into bread. All right, step two of the bread is take it out of the fridge, put it in your pan, cover it, let it rise at room temperature for two hours. So I've done that. It says to shape it into a ball, but I didn't. Now what we're going to do is I've got the oven on at 450. Make sure you wash your hands for this part. You're going to drizzle on a little more olive oil. You should probably measure it, but I'm not measuring today. Get that all over the surface. Now take your fingers and smoosh them into the bread. You want to go down until you can like feel the bottom. It's going to make all these cool dimples. And just do it all over. It's pretty fun. Now we're going to just sprinkle this with the basil and oregano and the flaky salt. So this goes in the oven at 450 for about 24 to 28 minutes, it says. It'll get nice and crispy and golden brown. I baked this at 450 for 28 minutes on the middle rack, and it smells amazing.